Uh, hi everyone, my name is Gauri Suan and my supervisor is Dr. Hachar Kocharyan. My capstone thesis is on differential drive vehicle path following and trajectory tracking with geometrical control. So uh, nowadays DDVs have become a part of our lives and can be, can be used in every sphere, such as they can be used in agriculture sphere, uh, in warehouses, houses and as a robotic pool cleaner. The a differential drive vehicle moves by changing the speeds of, uh, of its two independently driven wheels. And there are four types of differential drive systems. Skid steer drive and track drive have the same working system. However, skid, uh, drive, skid steer drive can have from four wheels up to six wheels, and it has similarities with uh, car type drive. Uh, omnidirectional drive system uh, has, uh, can move in any direction and the wheels are mechanically interconnected with each other. And these systems have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, some of them have uh, disadvantages with uneven surfaces and with high speeds. However, some, some of them have adva advantages uh, with maneuverability. Uh, car tire drive system are easy to balance and the wheels are independently controlled. And uh, and for the simplicity and low cost of this system, it was chosen uh, as a capstone uh, for this capstone. Uh, talking about the dynamics of this system, uh, for finding uh, the velocity of the vehicle according to x-axis and y-axis, we need uh, the angular velocities of the uh, left wheel and the right wheel, and also we need uh, the radius of the wheel um, for finding the velocities of the uh, of the vehicle and also we need these, uh, these components and also the distance, the length uh, distance between the wheels uh, which is for finding the angle velocity of the vehicle to showing how it changed uh, its direction. And uh, the differential drive vehicles uh, with these systems can, self can solve several problems such, uh, such of them are path following and trajectory tracking Path following prioritizes following the route with adjustable timing, and trajectory tracking requires precise timing as spin along the path. As, uh, there are a lot of uh, control systems that can solve these problems, and some of them are PID, backstepping, regulated purposing, and geometrical control. As uh, geometrical control is a very high level control system, it requires only uh, it, uh, it doesn't require any sensors and uh, it is rarely implemented in this sphere. That's why it is chosen as a capstone thesis for capstone thesis. So before talking about the differential geometry, uh, about ge geometric controller, we need at first to define the key components uh, of, uh, of this controller that we require for the equations uh, of the controller. Uh, we need the differential geometry and the Frenet frame is the key component uh, for this. And the Frenet frame is a set of three orthonormal vectors, E1, E2, and E3, that describe the orientation of a curve at each point along the curve as time varies. Here we can see the PS shows the position of a point uh, along x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. And taking the derivative at, uh, of a point, we, we can find the velocity of a point, which is equal to E1. And, according, and after some calculations uh, in this mathematics, we can find the E2 and the cross product of E1 and E2, we can find the E3, which is uh, for more easy to see, it is uh, represented in matrices. And, uh, and uh, going on, uh, the Darbo frame bec uh, is the Key uh, is one of the key components of uh, our controller and it is uh, without defining the frame frame we cannot go over this. Uh, this as the Darbo frame is defined as a moving frame uh, there is an arbitrary surface U where is there is a P point which is, uh, which is a subset of U and the frame frame uh, components are used here to define the Darbo frame. And talking about the geometrical controller uh, as already, uh, as already I have already said in previous slides, geometric controller is quite a uh, complicated uh, controller and uh, we'll not go deep discussing these equations that are used for, uh, for the controller. Um, for the controller and we here with UV we, find, we take uh, the, our vehicles 
uh, here we u we take our vehicle's velocity and we u w we find uh, the angular uh, direction of our vehicle. And moving on, uh, this technique is implemented by Tarfishi and with his codex, which operates without knowing the given path, uh, directed only by joystick, and using the Darbu frame kinematics along with the Gauss bonnet theorem, determine the uh, steering based area. Uh, for their experiment, they used uh, inertial measurement unit for finding the angular velocity of their vehicle, which is shown uh, with the psi. And also they used uh, motor encoders uh, for the equations that are uh, defined as UL and UR. Here the E2 and E1 shows the Darbu uh, frames uh, unit vectors. And going on, uh, talking about our experiments, uh, it was as we also used the IMU for finding uh, the direction, finding the spin angle of our uh, car. But at first, it was decided to use uh, this uh, sensor to find the velocity and the position of our vehicle. However, as the velocity data were coming with large errors, it was decided to estimate these values. And uh, here we can see that. IMU is positioned at the center of our vehicle and uh, by changing the direction of our uh, vehicle the x and y axis uh, stay standard and the uh, spin angle was calculated along the z axis z axis and uh, the maze was scaled down the maze was taken from the literature it was scaled down to the proportions of our vehicle and talking about the uh, controller's distribution differences, uh, that how it, it has effect on our uh, car. Uh, with the 10%, we can say that uh, it has similarities with the uh, joystick. So uh, it have it it uh, with the comparing how it's moved, uh, it the same speed and the dynamics is the same. However, we in 20% and 30%. Uh, we have, uh, we can see high, uh, high influence on our dynamics and uh, the speed of our vehicle. Uh, with the 40%, we can, it's, uh, it was talks, it, it, sorry, it took uh, a lot of time to reach to the end point of our maze and the dynamics was rougher, it was hard to control with the joystick. With the 50%, we, don't, we didn't have any response from the vehicle. And talking about the joystick, here we can see that uh, by changing, if we have sharp increases uh, at, uh, at three velocities, we, uh, as indicating that uh, our user has to stop at each turn, uh, which indicating sharp, uh, sharp increases at the heading angle. And by going next, we can see that with the 20% uh, of geometrical uh, controller, we can see the uh, the sharp increases reduced. Uh, we have smoothly increases and a shorter time uh, reaching to the uh, end point of our maze. Uh, okay. With the 40%, we can see that at 2 meters per second here, we can see that the DV comes here and stops. Uh, it, it becomes unresponsible. Here we can see that at uh, 2.5 meter per second, uh, it reaches uh, to the end point uh, during a long, uh, it takes a long time to get to the end point. However, with 3 meter per second, it's reached faster, but we have a lot of oscillations here. So, uh, moving next. Uh, talking about the difference between the controlled and uncontrolled, uh, we can see that we, uh, with 2 meter per second, as I already mentioned, uh, with the joystick we have sharp increases. As I already mentioned, that the user has to stop the vehicle to make a turn. With, uh, however, the geometrical, uh, it takes smoother increase and it reaches faster to the end point rather than the, by joystick. And uh, as we can see with 3 meters per second, it, we have slightly increase. Also, we have uh, these heading points, we're showing the, again the sharp uh, turnings of the DDV. Uh, and also, it reached faster than it was done by joystick. So, for concluding, uh, the implement implement implementation of the geometric controller on our commercial uh, product, it, used, uh, it is mixed with the user and automated inputs, evaluated at speeds between 2 meter, 2 meter per second and 3 meter per second. And uh, we can see that uh, 
between 2 and 30 percent of controller inputs result in significant uh, motion smoothness and reduced uh, the, uh, the turning overshoot. Uh, however, it can challenge at higher controller settings, uh, slow response and occasional no respons responsiveness at 40 percent and completely movement failure at 50 percent. Findings suggest that the optimal control input proportions can significantly enhance vehicle dynamics, though effectiveness varies with controller percentage. So for the future work, uh, it, needs, it, it, needs, uh, it needed to be investigating the reasons behind the poor performance uh, with higher percentage contributions with geometric control and uh, full automation of the operation will be implemented. We want to fully uh, fully eliminate the joystick uh, input and adding another controller to make it automated. And also the commercial DDV has to be replaced with a more reliable platform. We need higher performance microcontroller to be used. A high quality IMU is needed to be used for higher accuracy and motor, uh, motor encoders are going to be used for exact velocities. Uh, I'm, uh, I want to thank my uh, supervisor Dr. Racha Kochan, that all this time he has, uh, he was next to me and my friends Alexander Hakopian and other my friends, that was uh, do, that was next to me this whole year, and thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, so thank you. Gore, can you define what does 10% or 40% or 50% mean? 10% of what? 10%, uh, it means that the 10% is the geometrical influence on the car, and 90% uh, is the joystick input that uh, we have. So it's and like a, an attenu attenuation of 100% of your controller input, something like this? It means like uh, when we use the 100%, it means it's only moved only by joystick. There is no any uh, contribution uh, from the controller. And 10%, it means like... Uh, 90, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, okay thanks. Mm -hmm. I think for this project, you could also have... Uh, a small working example uh, where at, at least some of your assumptions could be checked like a small radio controlled car that it, or or electrically controlled car that could could be used to uh, display your uh, or uh, I would say ascertain your results because it's very easy to go into theory but mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to practice, you could also understand the various implications of your assumptions. Well, overall, very good research. Oh, but thank you. Uh, in, in future, you have to go in, oh, into working examples. Yeah. Okay, okay sure. Will there be any more questions? All right, thank you. Thank you.